Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see the vertical location. So, in the previous session, we have done the horizontal location, right? So, we need to select the tag and we need to give the range, correct? So, I'll just give 600 now. Just check it out how, how, how long it is going. Increase it. Yeah. So, it is stopped over there. So, we need to increase a bit. Fine. Let it be that. And now, I'm going to take one more box and keep it over here. Okay. Let's take it small. Yeah. This box at B position. And this box I want to move to C. C is here. Fine. So, for this it is a vertical, right? So, horizontal means that will be the x axis and vertical it will be y axis, correct? So, for y axis we need to bother about this range, this y scale. This is x range, this is y range, okay? Just watch it out here. What is y now? 60, correct? Now, y is 70. Let it be 70. And just move the cursor and keep it over here. Now it is 570. So 70, difference of 570 is 500. Keep it in mind, this number is 500. Okay. Just click on this. Whatever we have done for horizontal, same procedure only. Okay. Select vertical. So in horizontal, we have selected this. In vertical, we need to select this. That's it. Go for it. Select the tag. And... Instead of 100, here you need to give 500. That's it. Okay. This one no need to change. Because whenever you are changing the slider from 0 to 100, this box need to move vertically from 0th position to 500 position. Can you see here it is up and down. Up it is 0. Down it is 500. So it is moving towards down. Go for it. Go click on OK. OK. Fine. So I will just increase this also. Yeah. Go for runtime. Now we increase this. Just watch this box. Just watch this box. Yeah. Can you see the box is moving towards downside? Yeah. So it is moving towards down up to 500. Okay. So this is vertical movement. Fine. So take a duplicate of this. Keep it here. Now, what is the use of this box? This need to move towards upside. From C to B, it should move. For that, what we need to give? Click on this. Go for same vertical. So, in up, give 500. In down, it should be 0. That means, this is 0 to the point. Towards up, it should be moved towards 500. Okay? Here also, this should be 100. And the slider range is 0. Yeah, so 0, 0 when 500 and this is 100. Whatever we have done in the previous session for the, you know, horizontal, same procedure, okay. Go for runtime. Yeah, increase. Can you see? One box is, this box is moving down and this box is moving up. Fine, that's it. If you decrease the slider, it will it will go back to its original place. Okay. Yeah, like this. Fine. So, this is vertical movement. And uh, for the box also, you can give vertical movement. You can, uh, you know, keep one more conveyor here. That box is moving from this place to this place. Like that you can do. So, let's do that. Go to development page. Keep this here. Take one conveyor, symbol factory, Since I have taken this from 
symbol factory make a break cell or just right click break it okay now just flip it yeah i'm just rotating so imagine some some conveyor is coming from this side or instead of conveyor you can have some line okay i have taken this conveyor just flip it again you just select however you want i just want one vertical line like this so you can go for some other options also if this is not suiting well so i'm going for some other option and go for yeah i'll take just take this keep it here delete this break it first make a rotation yeah keep it here fine so i am keeping the box here this box need to move from up to down fine just make the box to come front yeah so click on this box instead of horizontal click vertical so vertical towards down so let it be 0 and this going to be 100 okay see how in which direction it is moving according to that you need to change this okay so now let it be as 100 and this going to be um, we need to measure it so approximately i'll just give 500 go for okay go for run time just increase this you can see the slider the box is moving correct yeah see since i have given 500 it is moving more so we need to reduce it we, it should keep here so up to that we need to choose okay so let's measure it and give the proper value so now the box is here no what is the x ray y range it is 100 and here it is 410 so approximately i'll take 400 okay so i'll take 400 or i'll just give 3 i'll just give 390 go for okay okay go for run time just increase this yeah yeah still it is going down so we need to bit reduce it so we'll reduce and come back so i have given 390 no so just give 350 or just 340 let give go for okay okay go for run time now check yeah and still we need to reduce see this much we need to reduce if we measure properly then it will be no issues like approximately since we are giving it is taking like this okay yeah somehow yeah exactly it is matched now okay so like this also you can do this is vertical see exactly it is keeping again you can if you want you can go for horizontal options also fine so this is horizontal and vertical location we have seen so apart from this we have we can able to do this one also what is that diagonal also see when you click on this you are seeing only vertical and horizontal correct but we can do horizontal uh, what is uh, diagonal also so how to do that we'll see in the next session okay so for that we need to combinely we need to give both horizontal and vertical okay see if you want x axis you will give just a horizontal movement if you want y axis you will give vertical movement if you want both diagonal means what x and y no so that time you should give both the locations so that i'll teach you in the next session okay yeah so just practice this vertical location in the software i'll meet you in the next okay in the next uh, session right so bye